Hello children, how are y'all? Hope y'all are doing really good. Today we are going to study about the sentences. What are sentences? A sentence is a group of words that makes a complete sense. For example, Jack and Jill went up the hill. What if we say went up the hill, Jack and Jill? That also contains all the same words and all the number of words are same. We cannot say that because it does not create a complete sense. Next, Sam likes to play badminton. That also emphasizes on the complete sense. Things that you need to remember when you make a sentence. Words in a sentence should be placed in a proper order so that it makes a complete sense. A sentence must begin with a capital letter. A sentence should end with a full stop and it should ends with the question mark if it's a question. A sentence must have a subject and a verb. Let's look at some of the examples. Subject, verb. Birds fly. Mary sang. Who spoke? The baby is crying. My little brother cannot swim. A sentence must have meaning. All the above sentence have meaning. But many sentences do not have meaning unless a word or words follow the verb. The servant opened. The servant is the subject and open is the verb. But the words are not a sentence because they don't have a meaning. Something must be added. For example, the servant opened the windows. The words now make a sentence with a complete sense. The window is called the object of the verb open. And a very large number of sentences is made in these three parts. Subject, verb, object. Here are some examples of subject, verb and object. The woman is carrying her baby. I wrote a letter. Girls do not play football. The children must wash their hands and faces. Who can answer the question? Jack's father will buy a house. Okay children, here is some exercise for you all to do it now with me. The following are subject and a verb. You have to select the objects from this list. The policeman caught. The policeman caught. The thief. The cat is climbing. A tree. Babies drink. A lot of milk. The poor man is wearing an old pair of trousers. Who broke that window? Do not forget the full stop and the question mark. Okay children, I hope you understood this lesson. Stay home, stay safe. God bless you.